everybody, and welcome back to the 2023 Advent Calendar Series. We got a bunch of beer to drink here on the channel tonight. We'll try to make it as quick as we can, but happy holidays. Hopefully you're all gearing up for uh, some fun and excitement and presents and Santa or whatever it is that you celebrate at this time of year, um, but we're going to celebrate beer. Um, so as always here on the channel, I'm Josh. I'm Ross. And we've got our wonderful friend Tyler um, from Nosy Neighbor Brewing out of Kenosha and our friend Mr. Andy Lau um, out of Eau Claire joining us with a special treat um, in his advent calendar this year. So um, as a reminder, Tyler, myself and Ross, we've all got the three sellers advent calendar this year. So we should be trying the same beer, all three of us. And Mr. Lau, what do you got? um i've got a little advent calendar pack put together by volume one in the local store up here in eau claire and i have absolutely no idea what any of it is it comes in little cute little packages like this so what me and mr lau are drinking tonight is a mystery to us i think ross and tyler know what we're about to consume but it is day one we've got 24 of these to go so mr lau why don't you kick this thing off from eau claire and let's find let's out what it. you are drinking on day one. Let's, of find, let's, let's find out. I literally have no clue what they have curated and put in here. So we shall see. We are all curious. Looks like we have a Rush River oh. chocolate oatmeal stout. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. So, I think we did Rush River in uh, one of March Badges. We did a stout. We did. Program. Where is yeah, so Rush good. River? I've never even heard I'm of trying it. to remember. Uh, it's right by the Rush River, River Falls. Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Right down by the river there called Rush. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. down by the yeah. river called Rush. No, yeah. This is a brewery in River Falls, Wisconsin, um, which is about an hour west of Eau Claire. So I don't know if the box is going to contain more beers from the local area up here or all of Wisconsin. I know it's a local store box, so it means it's something from at least Wisconsin. So we'll find out. We'll find out. But yeah, it's a chocolate oatmeal stout with natural cocoa flavors. All right. We got water, barley, wheat, hops, yeast, oats, cocoa flavor. Oh, I guess we'll see how it tastes. I, I'm just looking for any description in here. Yeah. <laughs> there are things that go in beer in this beer. <laughs> what else can I tell you about it? It what is more like? Eight percent alcohol by volume, and we'll try to pour it. All right, good luck. Oh, he's got the sweet Christmas brewing project glass again. From last year, fits in there perfectly. I feel like I've had this before, but I can't remember. So that's what we got looking like. Nice stout color. Nothing particularly Christmas Christmassy about it, but it's a good winter beer. <laughs> There's a dog in the background. <laughs> Might be the same beer we reviewed on the channel. I'm trying to remember. I can't. It, Is it, it was we'll have stout, to go back. Oh. I don't think it was a chocolate one, though. I know. Hey, I it it. It's a chocolate oatmeal stout. Um, I'm not. I don't get any chocolate. That's a bummer. But I also try, may not know what I'm trying to smell. Try not having COVID. <laughs> I think that was odd. Uh, I think that might be you, sir. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to give it a taste and we'll see how it is. Very bubbly, I feel like. I feel like it's got a lot of carbonation for a stout. It's great. It's got a nice creaminess, I think, from the oats or from the oatmeal in there, which I kind of like. I know I've had some of the other ones um, like a couple of years on the advent calendar from the Brewing Project, like some of their oatmeal IPAs and other things they did with oat and it was really good because it gave that creaminess. I don't know if I'm just because it's me and my palate, but I'm not getting any much in the way of chocolate on this thing. Maybe there's like a little bitterness in there from the cocoa. Okay. But otherwise, yeah, it's a 
it's a nice drinkable stout. I mean, it's nothing like one of the bare bitten barrel aged ones that are you guys usually put on this channel. It's just a pretty, you know, standard standard stout with some couple adjuncts in it and it tastes pretty good. I wouldn't be upset about drinking it. So you gotta give it a score of one to five. Where are you putting it? I'll put it at I don't know. Three seven five. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't know where we're at with uh, scores these days, but you'll figure it out as we as we move as forward. as we go through no, as we go through the rest of the that was a, that was the whole thing last. Week, so. <laughs> yeah, this will be your new baseline, and so that'll be my you new can judge Everything else based off that. Mm -hmm. If I was in the mood for a stout, and this is what they had, I wouldn't. I would. I would. I would enjoy it. Nice. I remember going the stout we had from them last time. It was a good stout. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I think it made it a decent ways in the in the tournament, if I remember yeah. correctly. I think it won the stout bracket, if I remember. I'd have. It doesn't want yeah. to get it that style, so. Yep. 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 Cool. Well, awesome. So, that was well, a fun That's way. a good first start. That's a fun to way kick to kick off. this one off. Long ways to go. I'm going to crack open my box back here. Uh oh. Should have done beforehand. I'll try to yes, you should have. Again this year. So you two already yeah, know, a, and now he's gonna can. he's gonna pull it out. It's a can. I think I probably know what it's gonna be. You don't. I don't think so. No way. <laughs> I am so blown away that that's what this is. It's so funny because I literally just bought the Maker's Mark yeah. uh, <laughs> variant of this tonight and shared that with Ross that I got it. Um, that's a pretty. <laughs> That's a pretty kick-ass way to start this thing off. Okay, yeah, then, yeah. That's so a this great is from Lions. Yeah. yeah, so this is from Lions Tail Brewing Company. Every um, well, every year around this time of year, they release what they call Bourbon Trail, which is kind of their flagship bourbon barrel aged stout, um, and they do it with single barrels. So uh, this particular variant was the first one they released this year, and it is brewed in our. Uh, um, or it was stored in Henry McKenna bourbon barrels. So um, right up our alley for this channel, 11.6% and a barrel aged stout to kick off a Friday night. Yeah, that's... Yeah, when, you, when you sent me that picture early, I already knew what beer it was. I'm like, oh, it's going to be so perfect when you look there. <laughs> so, it is so this funny. Is definitely right up your all three of yours as alley. Last year, we kicked it off with Last Christmas from Eagle Park. This is a This is a nice one. It's a little bit uh it's a little bit less thick pour uh, on the pour than I was expecting, but in the glass it is jet black. I mean I can already smell it from here. Yeah, for sure. Yep. To the nose. I do get a nice bourbon note on the nose. I'm not getting a lot of like roasty stout characteristics. It's a lot more bourbon spirit on the nose, yeah. but not like heavy. It's kind of like a subdued spirit note. Are you guys getting something similar since my my uh, capabilities might be limited? We could totally mess with you, but no, yeah, I, I agree. With what you're saying. Yeah, nothing like that, Josh. So <laughs> I mean, it's... The spirit's definitely the star. I'm um, not really getting any of those classic stout characteristics. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm curious what's going to taste like because right now, like all I'm really getting is that spirit. So, I as I dig into the glass a little bit more on the nose, I am getting a little bit more of that like stout sweetness behind it. There's like a little vanilla kind of characteristic behind it too. Yeah, I would say mainly it's spirit, a little bit of like oaky barrel to me, but it's not. For me, there's not like a ton of like chocolatey notes that I'm expecting in the on the palate just based on the nose. It, yeah. it smells a little less um, fudgy. Agreed. Let's try this All thing right. out. Right. Cheers. 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 It's pretty good. I mean, it's very mellow. 
like very similar to the nose. It's very mellow. Like there's not a crazy spirit bite on the front. I think the same notes I was getting on the nose hit right on the front end of the palate on this and are pretty consistent all the way through the beer. It doesn't change very much. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit thinner than I would expect on a stout like this. I'm a little surprised. I was expecting a little more viscosity from it, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I still think this is a tasty beer, um, but it's not a, you know, knock your socks off with flavor type of barrel aged stout to me. Yeah, so I'm getting more, a little more of that fudginess on the, on the pal that I am in the nose. Uh, definitely spirits there. There's a bit of a twinge though, and I don't really know what I'm picking up and everything. There's a bit of a twinge I'm getting on this. I got on the nose a little bit. I'm getting on the palate as well. I don't necessarily think it's an off note, but I just don't know what it is. And it's just kind of, it's distracting for me as I drink it. Um, it's it's like a weird sweetness I'm getting on it. I mean, it's tasty. It's good. It's definitely drinkable. Um, but that little little twinge is kind of weird. Huh. Interesting. For me, the body is is full. It's not um, it's not overly sweet on the finish, but there's plenty of body in here to make it smooth and um, you know almost like a creaminess. But yeah. what detracts from the creaminess for me is it's got this like level of acidity to it. I don't know if you guys pick up on that. Kind of like Ross was saying, it's like that twinge. But I think it's like an acidity from maybe the malt a little bit. It kind of like is on the side of my tongue. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so I'm picking up a little bit of like a acidic. It, I think it's coming from the oak maybe potentially like tannins from the oak. Um and then it finishes with a little bit of roast, not a ton of fudginess for me, but um, a subtle roast and and some barrel. So overall, it's really good. It, like you said, Josh, a little bit of the vanilla. It gives me like a burnt marshmallow, like five seconds after I take my, my sip. It has like this yeah. really subtle burnt marshmallow vanilla roast to it, which I like. Um, but it's you got to look for it a little bit. I think that's a good description. Okay. Well, I think this might be the first time I've ever actually had Bourbon Trail. I've seen it out in the wild a few times, and I know Lion's Tail puts this out every year, but this is the first chance I've had to try this. Um, let's start with Tyler. Tyler, one to five, throwing this in untapped. Where are you going? Um, I think I'm going to probably go three, seven, five. I think it's good. It's enjoyable. Um, but if you're talking like the world of barrel aged stouts. I think that there's a little bit of it that maybe is pulling back for me. It might be the residual sweetness. It might be that acidity a little bit. It's not bad by any means. It's really good. Um, but I just pull it back a little bit, maybe three, seven, five. Fair. Ross? I'm going to go three and a half. Um, some of the same notes that Tyler said, it, it's a tasty beer, but if I'm looking at barrel aged beer, I stack this up against all those other barrel aged beers out there. Um, I just think it, it I'm not gonna say it falls short, but I can't think of a better word to say it right now. So it's just it's lacking a little something I wish it had. Whether it's a little more viscosity, a little more kind of just full flavor to it than you know what it is. Um it's still really good. I would definitely order it, I would definitely drink it again, I would definitely buy it till I saw it. Like, but it's just it's it's missing something that I want from it, and I'm, I'm gonna put it about three and a half. Yeah. Um I think I'm probably closer to Tyler on this one. Um, I think a 375 is a good score on this. I I do wish it had a little bit more viscosity to it. I agree, Tyler, with you that it's got kind of a um like a bit of a smooth, creamy kind of character to the body. And I do actually really, really like that. I'm curious how this would compare to the maker's mark. Uh, variant that they just released as well on Black Friday. I have that now. <laughs> um, I, I was just talking about on. wanting to review them back to back on the channel to, you know, kind of check out what the differences are. You know, what what would the difference be in those barrels? What might those, you know, different barrels, um, how might those impact what this beer ends up being? But overall, I think it's pretty good. I think a 375 is a good score on this. Not one of my favorite barrel aged beers of all time but solid it's good well hey that's right. a pretty awesome way to kick off this box now um we were told that this three sellers box was going to be um 
a bit of a step up this year. I know they did that intentionally. It was a little bit pricier to snag this year. Um, but hey, kicking this thing off with a barrel aged stout, I'm going to be okay with that every single time. So, yeah, can't argue um, for sure. You can only hope for a Hell's Lager on round two. Uh, yeah, I know. They, they probably did that to me on purpose this year. Um, well, good stuff. Hey, thanks for checking out uh, day one of the Advent Calendar series and spending a little bit of time with us. Have you tried these? Have you tried uh, anything from Rush River? Have you tried uh, Bourbon Trail here from Lion's Tail? Let us know in the comments. And we've got 23 more of these videos coming to you over the next 23 days. Uh, so thanks again for checking out the channel, and we'll see all of you in the very next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Oh.